Hello friends, today we are going to learn PUC Economics Chapters 1 and 2 according to the NCERT syllabus. 4 marks questions. If you have any feedback, you may please email to parijnanmentors at gmail.com our email ID is given at the bottom. Now we will start to learn the four mark questions in POC economics. First question. Give the important or central problems of economy. Answer. Three problems are there for economy. What are they? What to produce, how to produce and for whom to produce. Again, what to produce, how to produce, for whom to produce. Question 2. Economy. Define the various types. Important three types are. 3. First, central planned economy. Second, market economy. Third, Mixed economy. The important features of the central economy. What is it? Question 3. First, in this economy, it is a national financial system. Where government owns all things and operates, manages production facility. Second, government gives resources like capital, labor and natural resources that according to its own central plan in the most efficient way. Third, government cares for the people's education and health problems and government gives education and health services to people. Fourth, government cares for things that they are given equally to all people. That is, it distributes equally to all people. Question 4. 4 marks. Market economy. What is it? 4 marks. So, first, this market economy, resources, and other things are controlled by individuals and you have supply and demand all depending on people. People exchange resources like money, goods or services own voluntarily in the market. Now important principle is that if the demand is high and the supply is low, then the price will be very high. If the demand is low and the supply is high, then the price will be low. Examples of this market economy are America and Japan. So now, if you see in this slide you have a table where it is explained. 
there what to produce that is decided by the consumer then you have how to produce that is again decided by the consumer thirdly you have for whom to produce that is also decided by the consumer fifth question four marks explain the de the demand curve with respect to a single commodity so the law of demand that shows the relationship between the price of a thing and the demand of that thing the statement says law of demand states that if other things and factors are all same or constant and do not change then when the th when the price of things are dependent on the demand and when the demand increases the price decreases in the table there you will see that the price of oranges when it is 2 rupees per kg there the demand is 14 kgs if you have the price as 8 rupees per kg then you have that the demand reduces to 4 kgs if you see the relationship between demand and and the price you will see that the relationship is if one increases the other decreases if one increases the other decreases that is the demand curve for one commodity then you have a graph which shows change of one to another that is demand with the price if 2 kgs is the cost then the demand is 14 kgs and if you see the last the price is 10 kgs then the demand reduces to 2 kgs <coughs> so so the result is what price of things decreases then you have the quantity decreases and if the price increases then you have quantity decreases if the price increases that is demand decreases if price increases question 6 explain the production possibility curve or ppc or the production possibility frontier that is also answer for change this is also known as the transformation curve okay that measures the output of two things using a fixed amount of input or resources that is shown by the graph that is called pp curve that solves the central economic problems for example you have books and laptops production of these two question 7 explain in difference map with the diagram so the in difference map is shown in the graph so it is with two or more curves different different combinations of quantities of commodities or things which the consumer consumes his income if 
and the market price of goods is given then you have ic1 ic2 ic3 that shows the different in different curves of oranges and mangoes as it is shown in the graph so you have an arrow that the bundles on the higher in difference curve are preferred by the consumer as compared to the lower bundles on the curve as you can see in the lower bundles of the curve so higher means it is preferred lower means it is less preferred this is the explanation of the indifference curve map